Hello everybody, uh, I am Dr. Vikram Gota, uh, Clinical Pharmacologist at the Advanced Center for Treatment, Research and Education in Cancer, Tata Memorial Center and also the Joint Organizing Secretary of the Conference Healthcare, a Commodity or Basic Human Need, organized as part of the Platinum Jubilee celebrations of Tata Memorial Center. The conference is essentially conceptualized to deliberate upon the fact that is healthcare a commodity or basic human need? All of us are aware that the uh, healthcare costs are escalating day by day, the prices of drugs are very, very high, and also it is important to deliver good quality healthcare consistently. And if you have to achieve these objectives, it is imperative that healthcare be treated as a commodity rather than basic human need. But on the other hand, the proponents of health equity and universal health coverage strongly support the delivery of healthcare as a basic human need. Just to put things in perspective, what is equitable healthcare? So, the inequity uh, in healthcare is defined as differences in the presence of disease, health outcomes, or access to healthcare between populations. Universal health coverage, on the other hand, is the ability of communities to receive the health services they need without suffering financial hardship. So, uh, having established these defini definitions, I would like to take your attention to a couple of burning issues that will be discussed during this conference. One of which is, what is the real worth of high-priced health interventions? All of us may have our own opinions about what is the real worth of high-priced health uh, interventions. I for one believe that it is not justifiable to have healthcare costs as high as they are today. In fact, Dr. Hagop Kantarjian, who is a renowned hemato-oncologist at the MD Anderson Medical Center, Texas, has filed a petition protesting against the high cancer drug prices insisting that if the prices are low, all patients with cancer can have access to affordable drugs to save their lives. Similarly, a little more than a year ago, the New York Times carried out an editorial saying no justification for high drug prices. And they went on to argue that prices in many cases far exceed what is needed to cover the cost of research and clinical trials. So, I, I entirely uh, agree with these arguments and therefore, I am strongly of the opinion that the healthcare intervention costs are exorbitantly high at this point in time. But that is my opinion, uh, but it is more important to understand what subject experts in this area such as Tito Foyo have to say about this topic. So, he will be delivering a talk titled Real Worth of high priced Drugs in the session on health costs at the conference. So, uh, moving forward, the second important and burning issue in healthcare delivery is about providing access to affordable healthcare. The question is, is there an ethical imperative about this uh, point? There may be many views on this matter, but just to put things in perspective, what is the challenge we are looking at if we have to make healthcare accessible to one and all. Across the world, there are approximately 1.3 billion people with no access to effective and affordable healthcare. Low and middle income countries bear 93% of the world's disease burden. However, LMICs account for only 18% of world's income and just about 11% of global health spending. So, if we have to make healthcare accessible and affordable to everybody, how are we going to bridge this gap? So, this will be uh, addressed very eloquently by uh, Professor Nathan Cherney from the Cancer Pain and Palliative Medicine Unit of uh, Share Zedek Medical Center, Jerusalem, Israel, in his talk titled The Ethical Imperative of Accessible and Affordable Healthcare in the session on Access to Affordable Healthcare. 
Then comes the big debate is healthcare a commodity? There are two sides to this argument. One is a yes, the other one is no. All of us tend to believe, or majority of us at least tend to believe, that healthcare is not a commodity. So, so it is not, therefore it is not important to uh, see who is arguing against this point. But there is one person, David W. Johnson, who is the CEO, CEO of Foresight Health USA, who seems to have his facts and figures right in favor of healthcare as a commodity. Incidentally, David W. Johnson is also the author of the book Market vs. Medicine, which was released last year in April. And he will be talking about what are the benefits of delivering healthcare as a commodity vis-a-vis -vis as a basic human need. So having uh, highlighted some of the important talks that would be featured in the conference, I would like to take you through the program highlights which has been um, uh, conceptualized with a lot of care. So we have uh, the, the agenda is comprising of interesting sessions stitched together on healthcare costs, healthcare spending, healthcare finance, efficacy endpoints in healthcare delivery, access to affordable healthcare, healthcare systems in selected countries like Cuba, Japan, Thailand and so on and the economics of innovation. So the proceedings of the conference would be harvested into a charter. The conference itself will culminate with the Mumbai Declaration which is a charter harvested from the conference sessions identifying and defining implementable policies that would support sustainable development goals and universal health coverage. And the charter would be prepared by a cross-section of reputed stakeholders in healthcare delivery. And the charter would be read out on the last day of the conference, uh, which is on 29th of January 2017. So with this, I thank you for your attention and I request you to visit our website www.tmcplatformjubilee.org for further information. Thank you.